Hey guys, so thanks for clicking through to learn more about the story behind the sold sign. So here I am at 39 Manu Estate Drive. We sold at auction uh, just yesterday on Wednesday, had a really great result. Uh, and so I just wanted to talk about that because it's not just putting up a sold sticker. I didn't actually do that, the sellers did that. They were so happy with the result they got. Um, and it's absolutely not promising a price because we can't do that, not just in the current market, but in any market. You might be a little bit low, you might be a little bit high, and if you promise something you can't deliver, all that's gonna do is upset everybody. So we do appraise properties before they go on the market, and that is to determine a likely selling range. But you can't hang your hat on that. That's not what it's about. So remember, each home is unique, and each buyer will value the property differently depending on their needs. So what you need is not the promise of the price, but the process that's gonna deliver you a result, enabling you to move on. If, after, if the best price is what you're after, then the process will help you do that. If the time frame is what you're after, the process will help you do that. And if you just need to move on, the process will help you do that. So let's just talk about that, It's because it's all about the process. So here's what we did. We met with the sellers, they'd done some work over the summer, get their house ready for sale. We'd tested the market late last year and the feedback was there was a few things with the property that needed sorting out. So the sellers were able to do that. They put a concrete pad in front of the property, they finished off the fencing looking really great, cleared the shed, put roller doors on, had the property looking really good. And then we determined a plan of who our likely buyers were gonna be based on other lifestyle properties in the area and what we were seeing in the marketplace. So from that, we got the marketing package together. We decided on the method of sale, still being auction, even though some people are saying that that's not the way to go at the moment. What an auction does from a seller's point of view is leaves you in control. So a seller sets the date they wanna sell on. The seller sets the day that is gonna be the settlement date that works for them. And the seller sets all the terms for the sale and then it's up to the buyers to meet those terms on the day, which is the auction day. Uh, in this case, and in all the properties I bring to market, what I like to do is get all the information for buyers ready before we go on the market. So this property included having the limb available, floor plan, documentation around the Manu Estate levy that is annually paid, and we decided we didn't need a builder's report because this property is only three years old and there is the balance of a master build guarantee attached to it. Buyers were welcome to do their own due diligence and several of them did, bringing their own builders through the property and decided that they were happy with what their builder had reported back to them as well as the documentation provided. What we did have is in the first week of going to market, we had a couple of private viewings. From that, one of the buyers put a pre-auction offer in, which the sellers had to consider because it was within the first seven days. And generally speaking, what a pre-auction offer does from a seller's point of view, their thought process is, are we likely to do better than this on auction day if we even have bidders? And from a buyer's point of view, they're either trying to get in early because they need to have a home, they might have already settled on a property, or they've missed out on a couple of other properties and are really committed to purchasing. So they sometimes want a bargain, and sometimes their offer is really good, and it's, a, it's what we call a showstopper. So it, it's, a, it's at a level that is going to stop the auction and everyone's happy. In this case, it was, a, it was a fair start, but we decided in consultation with the sellers because ultimately my job as the agent marketing the property is to bring you offers and offer advice. Ultimately, the decision to sell at the price level that the offers are at is the seller's choice. It's, it's not my job. My job is to bring offers. Your job as a seller is to accept them or not. In this case, with it being on the market only for seven days, and not having had our first open home before the pre-auction offer was in, we decided to decline it and carry on with the auction process. So the buyers understood that and they were committed to the property and came back to the open home and did a little bit more due diligence, so it gave them time as well. And what that allowed us to do was market the property to the best of our ability, uncover all the potential buyers, adjust the campaign when we saw where other buyers were coming from and deliver the result at auction day. So what we ended up with was an online marketing campaign that generated over 100,000 views of the ads. 
we had a property video that was viewed over 5,000 times and we had a website set up for the property that was visited over 1,700 times. All of that drilled down to having two bidders on the day, competing for the property, and the sale price was significantly above the pre-auction offer. So once again, you guys, it's not about the promise of a price. It's all about the process and the trust that you have in the person you work with to get you the results. I'm really happy to have done that here, and I'd love to do the same for you. So feel free to get in touch with me anytime for a chat and put me to work. Cheers, guys.